we went from this to this. Let me show you a crazy reconstruction I did more than 10 years ago. Take a look at the smile. A 54-year-old woman showed up to my office and says, I don't like my teeth. I can't smile really nice because, well, look at that. After many years of grinding and acid erosion, this is what she ended up looking like. When you look inside the mouth, you can see what acid and grinding do to your teeth. Not only is it anesthetic, but take a look at the lower teeth here and you can actually see that she ground herself down. It's called a collapsed vertical dimension of occlusion. As we lose the vertical dimension of occlusion, we end up looking older as our mouth collapses. And as usual, I took a protrusive photo, meaning bringing your lower jaw forward, and you can actually see the damage that happened over the years, as well as the not so great dentistry that she had over the years. Here's the occlusal view, and you can see what happened to the upper teeth, and you can see what happened to the lower teeth, and she's actually missing teeth on both lower left and lower right side. So here we go again, our common theme. My technician produces a beautiful set of provisionals for the top and the bottom jaw. So we prepare the upper teeth, take off the old crowns, cut everything down, trim the gum to the height that we want, take out a couple of teeth and place a couple of implants, all in one day. And per usual, we take our provisional, add some acrylic to it and seed it in the mouth. We get a wonderful reline, outline the teeth, trim all around and remove the stabilizing bar. And it looks like that. We go ahead and deliver it to the patient and she's as happy as a clam. Take a look. That's immediately following the surgery on the upper arch. She went home and came back two weeks later for a post-op and for preparing the lower arch. And again, we prepared all the lower teeth, relined our provisional, checked on the upper arch, which looks amazing, and delivered the bottom provisionals. This is how she went home that day with the upper and the lower provisionals prepared and done. While the gums were healing around the provisionals, our patient came back. We placed two implants on the lower left and two implants on the lower right. And once those healed, we could go ahead and proceed and make the final restorations. This is the wonderful result I get back from my technician. Looks great. It's all ceramic and zirconia crowns. And this is what it looks like in the mouth. Take a look. This is after we finished her case and she came back for a cleaning. That's why there's a little redness around the teeth. But look how gorgeous this looks. The vertical dimension is back to normal and everything looks great. And as usual, we give the patient a night guard that will allow her to move forward, left and right without tripping over her teeth and conserving the structure that we just restored. So we went from this to this and from this to this. Tell me what you think. From Prosthodontics and Implant Surgery of Manhattan, where people come in with missing teeth and leave with winning smiles, I am Dr. Zev Kaufman. Wow.